Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate a video player widget from the plus add-ons. In this video player widget, first of all you have the options for the source from which you can select from YouTube, Vimeo and self-hosted. Here you need not to put the whole link of YouTube or Vimeo. You just need to put their IDs, which will be at the end of the URL. Even same for the Vimeo. Then you have the option for the self-hosted. In the self-hosted, you have to select the MP4 video link, which you need to upload in the media section, and from there you can select. After the source selection, you need to go to video options where there are different options available. In the video options, you have the options for the autoplay, mute, mute will be the for the voice part. Then you have the loop option which can make your video in the loop. Then you can turn on or off controls of your player. You also turn on off video info. You can disable your video touch. You also hide and hide modest branding, suggested video, privacy mode. All those options are available for the YouTube. For the Vimeo, you have another options which are available in the Vimeo. There are autoplay, mute, loop, video touch are disabled, controls color, intro title, portrait intro byline these are the options for the vimeo and in the self-hosted you have the options for the autoplay mute loop controls and video touch disable so these are the options available and from here you can select only icon image or the banner image if you select the banner image you can put the banner and over that you can put the icon and if you put the if you select the option for the only icon image it will be like a button just a simple icon image let me show you you can put that in any simple logo or this kind of icon so if you have a pop-up option then when you press on that you have the look like this and if you select the banner image you have the whole image with the banner right here is the image upload option and then you have the icon when you turn on this banner image you will have the option for the title so when you hover on that you have the option the title will be at the bottom if you want to hide the banner image and just want to keep the iframe for any of the source then you can just turn this option off so you will have the options like this if you turn it on you have the image and the icon over that now let's go to the style tab in the style tab first of all for the video title which you can see at the bottom here you have the option for the typography its color and its background color then for the video styling you have the option to choose if you want to open that in the pop-up or if you want to open that in the place so if you turn it off it will open in the place only then you have the box head option for the normal and for the whole part same you have available for the transform w3 scroll or from any other sources you just need to decide which transform style you want to use for example let's use something like this you just need to copy And you can put that here you can see the 
options so it will totally transform as per your css and once you remove it it will be default uh, no css for the transform effect then you have the css filter options these options are for the video so it will not affect on the banner image or anything let me show you for example we can blur have the brightness option contrast option saturation hue all the options available and the benefits are you can select this for the hover as well like for example if you increase the blur size and you hover on it it will be a blur so you can manage uh, like this then you have the icon setting options let's get back to the first section in the icon setting you have the options for this icon part you can turn off the continuous animation if you turn it on you have the different options like which animation you want to set for this icon as you can see you have the different options you can even select the hover animation only so once you hover you can see that animation effect if you turn it off it will be a continuous effect then you have the transform origin options so you can select the layout accordingly then you have the icon radius option and icon size option you also have the on scroll view animation you can see the video in our channel which have the detailed description about that then you have the plus extra options all magic scroll tooltip mouse move parallax tilt 3d effect overlay special effect continuous animation all the options are available and if you want to know more about these uh, options you can check out our another video so if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on video player subscribe our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video